Okay, as you can see, I now have the original restored header tank in place. This is not the original from this car, but it is an original from another Series 142 E-Type. The one from this car was completely shot and undoable. And so I actually restored two of these. You're going to see the other one in a minute. But anyway, we got the radiator in. We've got all these brackets on. Um, the header tank had to be painted because it had a few holes here and there that got welded up and ground down. So I was not able to save any type of original paint on that. So that looks a little out of place, but it blends in all right. You can see I did not mess around with any of this. So that bracket underneath there with the holes in it, that is the original header tank bracket from this car. That's the original silver Habertone. You can see it's got, you know, a fading on it that's got a little bit of a greenish tint, and that's pretty normal. The shroud also is painted with the silver hammer tone, but what's interesting is these little brackets here have that dove gray paint that you always see. And the... Um, Rust got kind of cleaned off a bit. I found that simple green does kind of cut through the rust a little bit, but I didn't change anything there. That's all the original paint. Those are the original bolts. And then we've got the little wiring harness here that goes up front for the otter switch. That's on there. All right. And I have already put in the, uh, I don't know if you can see it down in there. Uh, you probably can't, but I've already put in the, uh, transfer pipe that goes over to the firewall and that is a new hose down there. We're going to talk about the hoses in a minute. But one thing I also did, you can see that this pipe for the heater is not looking too good and the other one just looked like that and God only knows what's going on in there. So for now, I'm going to cheat a little bit and I took another set of these fittings and you can see I welded a little bung in there, and that is welded shut. So no coolant is going to go into that whole heater system, into the bulkhead for now. And there's also another welded shut bung right down there on the back of the water pump. See that one right there? That has the hose on it and everything, the transfer pipes back in place. But that bung also is welded shut. So... The heater is completely blocked off for now. I, I, can, I can only handle so many things at a time. So that was my little idea to keep everything looking cool, but not have to mess with that. So let's go over and talk about hoses now. All right. This is the other Series 142 header tank that I restored since I was doing one and I had a couple that looked like they'd be all right, I did both. So that's the other one. The one that's on there now is the better of the two, but they were both cleaned out inside. And I can't keep track of all the videos I've been making, but I'm pretty sure I showed all that in the past. So there's the other one. Now let's talk about the hoses. This is an original hose from the factory for this car. And you can see that it's got this wrapping on it like a cloth wrapping but it's kind of vulcanized in there you can buy aftermarket hoses that have a cloth wrapping but it's kind of spiraled around it does not look like this you can see this is kind of one big piece that was wrapped on and then there's a seam and the seam can be on the top or the bottom depending on the hose so this is a factory original hose so is this one here so is this one, and they all came from this car. Now, this is a funny little hose for the transfer pipe. This is the original from this car. You can see after some time during the last 50 years, it just had a blowout um, and is done with. But this is another original hose that I pulled off the shelf in the shop, and it's got that coating, and I was going to use that. You can see over here, here's the transfer pipe hoses. There's that same original stuff. Now, this one's a little more beat up. You can see it's got some cracks in it. All right. But I finally decided this just isn't going to work. I started cleaning these. 
this one here always had this little wrinkle right there. But see, now it's got like a big bubble. And it's that's the, the wrapping has separated from the rubber. And down in here, you can see I tried to clean them out. And, you know, maybe I could get them on there and actually use them. But there, there's a lot of that coagulated rust in there. And they're pretty stiff. And I just decided I'll just set those aside. I'll have them available to be looked at for posterity. But for the sake of getting it running, we're going to have to go with the new hoses. So I bought a set of new hoses. There's nothing fancy. You can get all kinds of uh, Kevlar stuff. And then there's like silicone. These are just the basic uh, fiberglass reinforced fiberglass string in there. Reinforced hoses. I like the way they came through with kind of a little bit of a ribbing and a texture, which is a little bit like that. So I think these are going to work out all right. You know, this one here is not quite exactly the same. See, this is formed and it's got a little fat spot here to go on the thermostat housing. But they're, they're going to do the trick. And I think that's the best choice for now. Now, there are also some pipes here. This is the original from this car. And you can see, like the rest of the cooling system, it was rusted off on both ends, just like that heater pipe we just saw. And then there's a bunch of rust inside of there. This is another original pipe from a Series 1 4.2 liter that I had on the shelf. It is not rusted away on the ends, and it doesn't have the nightmarish goop that was inside the cooling system um, that's all coagulated now. So I'm going to set this aside with the original hoses, and I'm going to use this other original transfer pipe. I'm going to do the same thing with the lower radiator pipe. This is the original from this car. All right, you can see it's not too bad just because it's a bigger pipe, and I could sandblast the inside of that. But I also had this one here, and they both have this crazy light brown coating on them. It's I don't know what that is. It might be some kind of coating to kind of uh, work with the coolant because they have that coating on the inside as well. But this is another original. It also has the brown under the black but it's in much better shape on the inside and the outside. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. This one came with these hoses on it that are, um, they look original to me. And people always talked about the hoses with the white stripe when I was a kid. And you can also see the hose clamp marks. Now that one's a little crooked, but some of these, see, for example, that is the mark of a Cheney hose clamp. All right. That is the mark of another kind of hose clamp. Right there, Cheney hose clamp. That's the mark it leaves. All right, so I don't know. I thought about using them, but again, I'm just going to use all my new hoses. So there's the new hoses for those, and that's the lower radiator hose. All right, hose clamps. These are all the hose clamps from this car. Every one is bad. Um, so they're all going to go back in the exact same place. So for example, this is the right hand upper radiator hose. Here we go. Right. Wait a minute. No, this is the right hand, the right hand upper radiator hose front clamp. So this clamp went right here and you can see by the mark on the hose exactly where it was and what direction it faced. And I have a million pictures as well. So they'll all go back on exactly where they were in the same spot in the same orientation. All right. I put in that header tank, but I forgot to put the otter switch in it first. So I still have to reach around and do that. You can see these little original bolts. I believe these are the Lin Reed bolts, but you can't read them anymore. But you can see how they kind of have that hole in the center. This is not the original Otter switch from this car. This is the original Otter switch from this car. And you can see that somebody pried it apart. I did not do that. That was already done. Although since it was done, I kind of looked inside of there to see what it looked like. But that's the original from this car. That is not going to work. These screws are what was on the car, but they're not original. Someone had been messing around with this. 
These are original screws from another uh, Series 1 42 header tank. And it took, out of four original header tanks, I was only able to get three of these screws out without breaking them. So they are a little rare bird there. Here is the thermostat housing that I blasted and cleaned on the inside. There's that original patina that you're going to see, but the inside is blasted. It's not too fancy in there, but it's not uh, compromised. So we're going to be all right there. And you can see that I kind of did a poor man's milling machine job on it. I put a piece of sandpaper down on a flat surface. It kind of went like that a little bit to get a good uh, flat surface there. This is the original uh, gasket for that. And I've got the same original Jaguar material. This is kind of hard, so hopefully it'll squish down some. But you want it to have that pinkish look on the edge when you put it together to make it look original. This almost looks like it had some type of spray uh, sealer on it when it originally was put on. This was never opened up, I don't think, because here is the original thermostat. And I was going to look and see what that said on it before, but now I can't, I can't remember. Thompson. Something Thompson. And you can see down bottom it says radiator side. This is a special item because you can see that when it opens up, see this, this surface here? That slides out to the back and seals off a channel that is what sends the water over into this bypass. So when the thermostat is closed, when the car starts up, the water is able to go through a slot and into this little bypass hose, which is what this is over here. Okay, let me see if we can, hang on, I'll jerk the camera over. Let me see if I can show you that slot. Let's see, it's not too fancy in there either. The slot is very thin, and it's a little messed up here. I'm going to do some more cleaning, but that's the slot in the side. All right, so now we got to go ahead and put all of this stuff back in there, put all these hoses on. It's going to take some time. I am going to use a little bit of sealer around this because these leak, and this one is just a little bit bent on the side from somebody over-tightening it. So we're going to go ahead and use a little sealer there, and then... All of these need to be cleaned, and that takes a lot of time. So we'll just pick away at this one hose at a time. Okay, it's late on a fall evening, but I've got all of the new hoses in place. And that is done with the original Cheney hose clamps. They're all right back in their original spot, in their original orientation. And I only clean them up with a toothbrush and simple green. So there they are. The hoses are all new. You see there's a new hose there on that transfer pipe. And then there's a little, little guy down in there. He's kind of a funny little hose. Kind of wiggles down there. I'll tell you what, these hoses on the lower uh, radiator hose that goes from the water pump down to the bottom corner of the radiator, they are tough. And you've got to lube them up with soapy water and really fight them into place. I did not put the thermostat back in. I'm leaving that out for now. I'm expecting the engine to kind of cough up a bunch of chunks and stuff like we got before. And I'm going to try to figure out a way to maybe get them out of there. We'll see how that goes. I might try to put a little screen up in this hose because I know that the Radiator is clean, so I'll keep that clean. And then nothing's going to go from the radiator up into the engine, but there may be a lot of junk in the engine that comes out of here, goes through the header tank, and over into there. So I think if I put a screen over there, that might be the best bet. But we'll see. So that's it for the cooling system. It's all cleaned out. We've gotten as much out of the inside as we could. We got another original header tank, and restored it and spray painted it with the silver hammer tone and got that back up in there. And then we've got all the hoses replaced with uh, new rubber. So to be continued, we will put 
some coolant in here when we're ready to fire things up. Hopefully that won't be too far off. Thanks for watching. Okay, I want to do a quick little addendum video to the header tank repair video. This is the reproduction header tank that has the fat flange on it and also is uh, too dark of a color, but it does have a nice um, hammer tone finish. This is one of the two original tanks that I restored last year, and you can see that it has a hammered paint on it, but it came out really smooth and it's too bright. I put a tank identical to this on the car. I found this came with a project car that I just bought, the 66 Coupe. I would have said that such a thing did not exist on the earth. This is an original tank, I believe, in good condition. And it still has the original paint on it. You can see it's kind of faded and it's got that patina. It's dirty. It's, it's got some junk in it, but it does not seem to be rusted out at all. So I'm going to clean this out and see if we've got something good here. I think this might be a replacement tank from the 60s or 70s. You can see it's still got the thin flange. It's just a teeny tiny bit bigger than this one, although that might just be a variation um, in manufacturing. But it's got the paint that we're looking for. So look at that. Unbelievable. This is going to look perfect under there. So let me go ahead and clean this up. Okay, it is all cleaned up and cleaned out, and it looks great. I actually had to polish it with some, uh, you know, compound because it had the same overspray on it that the whole car had on it. If you go back and look, it was a green coupe. I made a video on it, and that, that's a project car that's been sold now. But anyway, there it is. You can see it's got a couple scratches here. It's kind of got this funny orangish colored uh, base coat. And I think that's the same thing that's on the inside. And I just cleaned out the inside by putting a bunch of square nuts in there and shaking it around and then scrubbing it out best I could. Um, you can see that that base coat's kind of showing through on this edge a little bit. Um, and then look under here, cleaned up pretty good. That, that, it's kind of a combination of rust and then like some leaking gasket stuff. Got these little bolts out without anything getting stuck. So uh, we're good. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Very, very happy to have it. And you can see that that kind of gray-green color is going to be a dead match for the original air cleaner and the other pieces that are painted with this hammer tone. So I'm very happy to have this.